now, KOMU 8 Sports. Welcome back, everyone. The Missouri Tigers are joined the humble abode of Missouri Arena lately. Tigers looking to continue their 16-game winning streak at Mizzou Arena against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Missouri Zaire Taylor, and here you're going to see Damari Carroll with the rebound to JT Tiller for the first bucket of the game, coast to coast. Missouri defense picking up. Nebraska throws it away. Denman is going to pass it to JT Tiller. He's going to get the miss, and Matt Lawrence, the three-point specialist, getting it done on the inside. The inside specialist this time, Damari Carroll, for his three of his own. He had 13 points, team high. Tigers up by eight at that point. Nebraska on the break. Kim English says no thank you on that layup. Puts it out of bounds with the block. Still in the first half, Keith Ramsey steal to Damari. And Denman's going to give it back to Damari for the dunk down with authority. The junkyard dog getting it done. This time, Carroll to Matt Lawrence for the and one layup. Lawrence getting it done inside. That was the last bucket before half. Second half, the three balls start to drain. JT, Matt Lawrence. And Marcus Denman says, I want to get on the action from outside the stripe. Three balls key for Mizzou, putting them up big in the second half. This is probably the defensive play of the season. Just, just watch this block by Keith Ramsey. It goes six rows up to the seats. See it once. See it twice. Third time, it's so good. What a block. And now Keith Ramsey is going to get a payback for his block and gets a huge dunk on the breakaway. The second half turned into a highlight reel for the Tigers. This time it's Lawrence Bowers for his only bucket of the game. Make it count his only bucket of the game. Missouri takes care of the Huskers at home. They win 70 to 47. Well, I think we got some guys now, man. They're fighting, scratching, clawing to give themselves a chance. We still want to play the first good half. Um, we just didn't do the things that we need to do to get the game at our pace, and we played their pace, and you can kind of see what was happening. I think we'll probably have some more, a lot of scrimmaging. Right now, this time of year, you want to just tune up anyway. Uh, so we got a lot of shooting in and uh, get some more work in and get ready to hit the road against Colorado. So it's, we've been going nonstop. And uh, I'm sure our guys are look forward, but I got a lot of guys that are gym rats. Now we're going to go to KU, who Mizzou took down on Monday in Mizzou Arena. Behind the back pass to their big man, Cole Aldridge, for the slam. Kansas would fall behind early, maybe a little uh, post-game jitters from the Mizzou game. This time you got Dennis Clemente for the three and the foul, four points the hard way. Clemente again from the baseline makes the jumper. Cuts the KU lead down to two, but KU makes it count down the stretch. Sharon Collins follows his layup. Eight-point lead at that point. They hold on to win, 85-74. to 74. The Missouri women took the trip south to face the seventh-ranked Baylor Lady Bears. Tigers looking to push their overall record above the 500 mark. Going to be a pink day at Baylor. Pink everywhere. You'll see more of that coming up later, I promise. Second half, Mizzou's Shaq Jones swatted by Danielle Wilson. Baylor's going to get running. Kelly Griffin's going to finish it off for the two points. Still in the second half, Marissa Scout, Scott to Rashara Brown inside. Baylor's still leaning up by 15 at that point. Going to go back to Baylor. Jasmine Player with the layup on the inside. This was all Baylor all day. Baylor's Danielle Wilson with the bucket. She led the team with 26 points and 13 rebounds. Baylor wins 72 to 43. To high school girls basketball now, the Rockbridge girls scoring off against the Platte County on the hardwood tonight. And that was a pink night as well at Rockbridge. First, we're going to go to our Rockbridge's Platte County's Lindsay Sellers inside to Morgan Johnson, who hits the layup. She finished with 20 points. Rockbridge's Rachel Rudder with a nice pass to Arisha Chapman for the lay-in. Rock, Rockbridge boys coach Jim Scallon getting a look in on the ladies. End of the second half, Rockbridge is Amaya Williams driving inside. She scores, and look at the emotion on her face. Second half, Williams with the three. She finished with 17. Not as much emotion there. But Bruins win a tight one, 40 to 35. More Lady High School basketball. Centralia welcoming the Boonville Lady Pirates. Boonville's Mackenzie Grease passes it to Heather English for the three ball. Move straight to Centralia's Mallory Henry. She's going to drive to the basket for the two. She had 17 points on the night. Centralia takes care of business. Centralia wins 57-48. Now to the boys' side of the same game, Centralia and Boonville. Centralia's Nick Ford steals the ball, takes it coast to coast. Two points, good for the layup. 
Boonville's Sean Bruce with the nice crossover at half court. And he's going to take it the rest of the way for two points of his own with the layup. Boonville wins 75-68. I know it's Valentine's Day today, but it's not the only holiday. It is NASCAR Eve. Tomorrow is the mother of NASCAR races. The Daytona 500 kicks off the season of fast cars and paint rubbing for NASCAR drivers. But today it was the Bush Series race at Daytona. Columbia's own racing legend, Carl Edwards, was second place. Final lap, Kyle Busch challenges Tony Stewart. And that allows Columbia's Edwards to get a run outside. He does what he can, but he finishes second behind Stewart. Bush ends up in fourth. That Daytona 500 will be tomorrow. Carl Edwards is participating in that. We will, that's it for sports. We'll pitch it back to the news desk.